It's back to school time and that includes thousands, I mean thousands of young people returning to more than 20 private and public colleges and universities across Indiana. I was yesterday in, in Muncie at Ball State, uh -huh. Franklin College last night. Yep. You've been traveling as well. <laughs> I have. And the freshman class at Marion University is the largest the school's ever seen. So I went to campus and got a closer look. Meet Harpreet Sandhu. She's in her senior year at Marion University. And even though we're still in this pandemic, she's looking forward to returning to campus in person this year. I'm really excited to be back and my like discussions, lectures and everything because those were really fun during freshman and sophomore year. Sandu says clicking mouses and staring at a computer screen doesn't compare to seeing other people. It was just mind boggling because you didn't have anyone to talk to right next to you. Now she won't be alone on campus. An estimated 460 full time freshman students are now coming to campus in person. It was really hard as a commuter to find a place to study and I'm really excited to see like everyone go back into like couches mostly. <laughs> Couches aside, everyone's here to learn. We often refer to great teaching as an intimate communication between two souls. You know, we like the relationship part. It's a relationship President Daniel Elsner values. So we want to get back to what we consider normal. For now, normal at Marion means in-person learning. The reasons we've had good growth, uh, the way I would explain is last year, we did everything possible to be in-person safely. Like everywhere else, the university eventually had to move to all remote instruction due to COVID-19. But Elsner says the university trained for it in advance and handled the quick transition diligently. To return to in-person learning safely means face masks are required inside of the academic spaces, like classrooms and large gathering areas, but not outside in smaller spaces or non-academic areas. And the COVID vaccine is strongly encouraged, but not mandated. Frankly, in my 20 years as president of Marion University, when you appeal to this community to do the right thing, to do good thing, to pay attention, to care about yourself and the people around you, we get amazing results. Marion University's website shows that they will get rid of the mask requirement by September 10th if the reported number of fully vaccinated students reaches at least 1,500 and at least 700 faculty or staff. Masks or not, Elsner says returning to campus face to face makes a difference. I think there's going to be enthusiasm because there will be more energy involved and the students will be around and we'll be able to do some of the things that bring a lot of joy and excitement to a campus that we so love. For students like Sandu, she hopes they start and stay in person this year, her last year to soak up the college experience. Our thanks to Marion University. And when it comes to COVID, Marion University officials say they follow city, county, and CDC guidance. And an exemption from the vaccine is possible for religious or medical reasons. However, you must be vaccinated or have an exemption if you are a student athlete, participate in study abroad, major in performing arts, or in the health profession programs that work in clinical settings. Now, WRTV continues to follow the community's experience returning to school, and we know pandemic policies seem to evolve a lot. So we have the latest information for you at WRTV.com under the back to school section, Raphael. Marion University, one of the great schools here in Indiana. All the best to the night.